Globy, today we're going to talk about blood and outer space. <laughs> okay, relax, Globy. We're not actually going to show anything scary. We're just going to discuss the effects that outer space has on our blood. Or it might be more accurate to say, the effects that gravity has on our blood. Did you know that blood is a suspension? A suspension is a mixture of solid particles floating in a liquid. Blood is actually made up of a liquid called plasma, which is mostly water, red blood cells, and white blood cells. Blood does a lot of incredible things for your body. It helps fight off infection. It heals wounds, and it carries oxygen and other nutrients all over your body. And it even helps get rid of carbon dioxide and other waste that our cells don't need. And of course, we all know our heart is what pumps our blood. First, our heart pumps the blood to our lungs, where it picks up oxygen. Then the blood, which is now rich with oxygen, is pumped to our legs, arms, and our brain. Everywhere. But have you ever thought about how much work that is for your heart? And what effect does gravity have on your blood? If you toss something, like this ball, into the air, what happens? That's right, gravity pulls the ball down to the ground. And gravity does the same thing to your blood. When you stand up, gravity pushes your blood towards your feet. Then your heart and your muscles have to do the hard part of pushing the blood back towards your heart so it can be reoxygenated and continue to nourish your brain and your body. But in space, astronauts don't feel the effect of gravity. So what kind of effect does that have on your heart and blood? Let's ask Dr. Chell Lindgren, who is a flight surgeon at the NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Flight surgeon is a medical doctor. With my other flight surgeon colleagues, we help to take care of astronaut crew members and their families. One of the things Dr. Lindgren studies is called fluid shift. This is something that happens to the astronaut's blood volume when they get into outer space and have to deal with the effects of not having gravity. On Earth, the heart and the muscles constantly have to push blood around the body against the effects of gravity. Gravity is constantly pulling blood down towards the feet when you stand up and the heart and the muscles have to push the blood back up to the heart and up towards the head so that the brain and the organs are all getting enough blood and oxygen. In space, you don't feel the effects of gravity. Everything is floating. The heart actually doesn't have to work all of that hard, but the body continues to push all that blood up towards the chest and up towards the head. And so in space, astronauts actually feel what we call a fluid shift. Movement of most of the blood up away from the legs, up into the chest and up towards the face. If you see pictures of astronauts who have just gotten into orbit, their faces might look a little bit puffy. They might say that they feel a little congested. If you look at their legs, their legs look a little bit skinnier because the blood has moved out of the legs up into the chest and, and face. That's right. The astronauts feel like their heads have gotten congested and their legs have gotten skinnier. And you know what? They have. Because gravity isn't pulling blood into the legs and feet, which causes it to gather in the chest and head. It's kind of like hanging upside down on the monkey bars. You start to feel stuffy and congested because all of the blood is flowing to your head. Over time, the astronauts' bodies sense the extra blood in the chest and heart and cause the astronauts to use the bathroom more to get rid of the extra fluid. This helps somewhat reduce the puffiness in the face. But what do the astronauts have to do to correct the blood volume before they return to Earth? The space medicine community has been looking at fluid shifts and the problems associated with fluid shifts from the very beginning of the space program. We use countermeasures or techniques to try and avoid the effects of fluid shifts. When astronauts return to the Earth, if they don't have enough blood volume and they stand up and their hearts or brains aren't getting enough blood, they might pass out. So we want to avoid that, obviously, and keep our astronauts healthy. So we have various techniques to do that. We have G-suits, which are the same thing that pilots wear when they're flying fighter aircraft. They compress against the calves and thighs to push blood up towards the chest, the heart, and the head. We have the astronauts drink fluids before they return to Earth to increase their blood volume. And we have various other techniques that we can help to prevent the effects felt uh, from fluid shifts. The astronauts can also do exercises which help to get the blood flowing through the body. So Globy, today we learned about the tremendous effect that gravity has on blood flow in your body. There are so many things that astronauts need to be aware of when traveling into space. Thank goodness we have skilled doctors like Dr. Lindgren to look out for them.